chapter 38. Where are you going? Goldie skipped beside of us. We're looking for the mystic waterfall. I smiled. That's a long way off. Goldie's eyes got really big. How far off? Kason asked. Goldie shrugged. A long way. Goldie! Her mother called for her. Bye! Goldie turned around and started skipping again. Bye, Kason and I both told her. I found myself laughing. First on the list is a windmill. Kason's right eyebrow went up. I've never seen one in person. I made a face. Me either, Kason shrugged. I saw something move on the map. I took it carefully out Kason's hands and held it up to the light. Did that just move? Kason pointed at the compass at the bottom corner. Yeah, I agreed. I stopped and the compass stopped moving. I took a few steps and it moved again. Then a glowing blue dot showed up on the map. I think this is us. I pointed to the glowing blue dot. Let's walk and see if it moves, Kason suggested. We walked a few minutes and looked at the map. Again, the dot had moved. I looked up at Kason. His eyes sparkled with excitement. That was chapter 38 of MS Quest of the Storyteller series. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. If you haven't checked out my other books, I have a ton of different options. I have Dystopian Locket. I have the Amazing Time Traveling Twins. I have my Collins Ranch trilogy with uh, Jake's Troubles and Josh's Plight and Mary's Mark. And a few other things. So just a little bit for everybody. I don't like writing one genre. It just isn't fun. It just isn't me. I have a lot of different things I'm interested in, but it's always nice to have a little bit of a fairy tale at the end. Well, I hope you have a great rest of your week. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.